To analyze this data using ANOVA with post hoc test along with the compact letter display, we go to analyze, then compare means, then we go to one way ANOVA. So here we just put the number of items in the dependent list. Suppose that we have all of these uh, dependent variables, so we can just uh, select everything and put them here. And these groups, so it was here, so I just uh, moved it here. So this uh, independent variable shows like there are different groups that we need to compare. So we go to post hooks and I need to take Duncan's uh, test. So Duncan, then I click continue. And then for the options, I need to check uh, descriptive stats, homogeneity of variance, then means plots and click continue and then click OK. And these are the uh, results. So from the descriptive stats, as you can see here, we have item one, IV one, IV two, IV three. These are the three groups and these are the dependent variables, item one to item 20. And these are the statistically significant differences in terms of homogeneity of variance, along with the statistically significant differences in terms of hypothesis testing. As you can see, all of them are below 0 0.05. Therefore, there are statistically significant differences in the three groups, along with these 20 items. So this is the Duncan's test EB, as you can see. And here, these are just uh, uh, general names of what the E and B uh, stand for. But we can do what we call uh, EB testing here or EBC uh, based on these columns here and EB for instance here and EB here, etc, etc. So how can I do this? Uh, first, I need to go back and take this uh, uh, mean score here. Uh, so I need to take, for instance, the mean the standard deviation, the standard error. I need to just to be selective, but here I just need the mean score. As you can see, for example, item one, IV one, and this is its mean, etc. So what I can do is that I will just copy this table and uh, go to Word and paste it. And I can just uh, remove the columns that I don't need. For instance, the confidence intervals along with the minimum maximum. So I will just select these and then uh, right click and delete. Uh, entire column yes that's it so i clean this table this way i can just uh, right click and just uh, adjust this a little bit by going to auto fit and then auto fit window and auto fit uh, contents then so here just let's keep it auto fit uh, window so here we have those, uh, you know, we have the mean score, the standard deviation and standard error. So I need just to put the EB, uh, et cetera, here uh, based on the mean. And I need to see, for example, the first uh, dependent variable, which is item one and the three uh, independent variables, IV one, two and three. Let's say this is like just one independent variable with three groups. Uh, so here I need to Keep checking, uh, for example, this mean, and I need to put whether it's E or B or C. So uh, like this, E, etc. How can I put uh, E, B, etc.? I need to go back to uh, these tables of the Duncan uh, multiple range test. This one. So this is for item one. All right. So we have IV one, two, three, and we have the uh, mean here for the subset. You can see the sig value and here you could see uh, this main for example so for IV1 and uh, for subset for alpha 1 so it is for example E then this is B this is C for instance so I would just take IV1 in item 1 and I just include this as A uh, so go back to spaces or rather to word for example this one if we just compare this item 1 IV1 8.79 so let's go here so 8.79 so this is a the second one is b so 11 and then point five and 16.5 c so let's just go back to microsoft word so office word so this is b and this is let's say c uh, etc so then I just need to uh, select these and put them as superscript from here. 
and or just click control and then select everything so control and then go here and click this like this so i need just to do this operation with regard to all of these uh, till i finish this table and you see uh, it's a bit long so this can take a bit of time to do this manually by just cross checking these data with the different uh, duncan's multiple range tests for each dv till the end so this is in brief how you can um, analyze uh, data set using one way an analysis of variance that is ANOVA in addition uh, to uh, the uh, Duncan's multiple range test as a post hoc test and how to write the compact display letters are like uh, superscript E, B, C, D, etc. So if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon. Bye for now.